One day, as I was still a postdoc, I was sitting at the microscope and I was wondering where would be the best place to start my own group and watch what happened. The good thing here in ZMBH is that we have many groups working on many different methods. Therefore, just walk a few meters and then we can do a lot of cool things. The research that we are doing with um, these fruit flies, with Drosophila melanogaster, is we look how chromosomes um, divide during cell division. One chromosome region um, is important, that chromosome region is called the centromere, and we genetically manipulate those flies to see how the centromere functions in this chromosome segregation. I just started as a project leader in, at the ZMBH and we used the model nematode Say Elegans as a model system to study neurodegenerative diseases like Parkinson's disease and Huntington's disease. Uh, I work on a complex assembly of um, proteins in eukaryotic cells. I use yeast as a model organism. I try to look at this both by imaging, by cell microscopy, and also by doing selective ribosome profiling. We use the HDX technology to um, investigate the molecular mechanism of um, cellular processes in response to stresses. One of the great advantages in ZMBH is that we have the access to such great microscopic technologies. The light microscopy core facility here at the ZMBH provides for our researchers the instrumentation to do advanced light microscopy. We can resolve structures up to a millionth of a millimeter and observe what is really going on inside cells in real time. This is our high throughput yeast binner robot. With it, I can generate thousands of yeast strains at a time and find new genes which potentially regulate important cellular processes. With this cooperation between the ZMBH and the German Cancer Research Center, we could show that the cooperation of heat shock proteins actually helps diabetic mice to get better. And for the future, we hope very much to be able to implement this knowledge into clinical practice. In close by, there are so many scientific institutes, for example, DCAPSET, MPI, and also uh, EMBL. So uh, it's, it's very easy to collaborate. Besides, the landscape in Heidelberg is also very beautiful. The senior colleagues, but also the junior colleagues, um, are very collaborative and we work together. We get a mentoring program and the doors are always open here at the ZMBH. So you can really go to another group and work. You get the help, you get the feedback and everything, and plus it is really like one big family. It's very international and people come from different backgrounds and they have uh, their own ideas and input on your project. The good thing about these lab meetings is that we come and present our very fresh data and we discuss not only our success results, but which is even more important, our failures. I always dreamed of like doing experiments of genetics and in this place I can feel and touch my dream. I really like the PhD community here at the ZMBH and especially the retreat only for us students every year where we can discuss science in a very relaxed atmosphere. Welcome in place.